Hello, in this video I will show you the best 5 ways to dramatically save battery life on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Number 1. A big battery killer is screen brightness. Make sure it is set to around halfway and you have auto brightness toggled on. To do that, go to settings, scroll down to brightness, turn it around halfway, and turn auto brightness on. Number 2. Another is if you have an email set up on your device. If you do, go over to the settings application, tap on mail contacts calendars, and then look for fetch new data. Make sure to have it under fetch set to hourly or manually. Personally, I like it on hourly because it automatically checks for a new mail every hour. But if you set it to manually, it only checks your new mail once you open up the mail application. Number three, push notifications were a big part of a 3.0 software update. To see which apps have this feature activated, go to settings, then notifications. Go through all the apps in the list and only toggle the ones that are actually needed. In my case, I have all the games toggled off and with Facebook and a couple more toggled on. This saves a big chunk of your daily battery life. Number four, the last daily step to increase battery life are the background applications. When you double press the home button, hold down an application icon until it starts wiggling. After it starts wiggling, you'll see a red minus symbol in the top left corner. Close all the apps until the bar is empty. Now I know it's a chore to do this, especially if you haven't done it in a while, but not only does it increase battery life, it also speeds up your device and frees some RAM space. For me, I do this a couple times a day, but some compulsive people like doing it right when they close an application. Number five, the last step which is very important but only required every month or two is the most time consuming, calibrating the battery. To do so, in the most convenient way at least, charge your iDevice at night until completely 100% full. Allow it to remain plugged in two hours after the 100%, although you can use it or you cannot use it if you choose to not do so. After that, unplug the device and use it normally the whole entire day until by the time you reached a plug, it is completely dead. Leave it off for a little once it dies of battery life and plug it in and don't unplug it until your device reaches a full 100% again. Then you're done calibrating the battery and you should notice better data usage. With all those tips you should start to see a very large increase of battery life. If this video gets enough feedback I will make 5 more steps on how to save battery life on an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Maybe also different types of devices. So if you enjoyed or liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Also, a quick little tip that not too many people know. Go to the settings application, scroll down to general, click usage. If you have a battery percentage option, make sure to toggle that on. And it gives you a battery percentage in a numeric form in the top right corner of your status bar. It also shows your usage of your device and standby time. In my case, I've been using my phone the whole day, but I have plugged it in. But if you do not plug it in, you could see how, how much you use your device and how much it's in standby by the time it gets to whatever percentage you're at. If you also scroll down, you could see some cool statistics of your phone.